Hello everyone. So by now we've studied uh, many problems that involve finding the equation of a tangent line to the graph of a function. So what we'll do in the first three videos this week is uh, study in detail three different types of such problems. And in fact, the first type is the one we've studied uh, already quite a few times. The two other ones are a little more complicated, so we'll go through them in detail in these videos. So in the first video, we'll start with the first type of problem. So let me give you an example. Suppose I ask you to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of a function, in this case 2x squared over 3x minus 1, at a certain point, say x equals to 1. Well, the first thing you should do in this case is to find the point of tangency. So where do you actually want to calculate the equation of your tangent line? So we know it's x equals to 1, but the point on the graph will be basically 1, and the y-coordinate will be f of 1. So we first need to calculate f of 1, which is pretty easy. All we have to do is substitute x equals 1 in the equation for our function. What do we get in this case? We get 2 over 3 minus 1, that's 2, so we get 1. So in other words, the point of tangency that I will write as f or a f of a is equal to 1, 1. All right, so that was the first piece of data that we need to find the equation of the tangent line. Now the second thing we need is the slope of the tangent line. So find the slope. What is this? This will be the derivative of the function at the point x equals to 1. So the first thing we want to calculate is find the derivative. By now we know how to differentiate. Derivative of this function will involve the quotient rule. So low d high minus high d low, draw the line and square below. So that's low derivative of the numerator here, which is just 4 times x minus i derivative of the denominator, which is just 3 divided by 3x minus 1 square. Now I could simplify a little bit. I can multiply the things here. So I get 3x times 4x. That gives me 12x squared. But then I have a 6x squared here. So I get 12x squared minus 6x squared, which gives me 6x squared. Then I still have my 4x here over 3x minus 1 square. All right, so I can stop here because what I want to do now is calculate the derivative at the point x equals to 1. So all I have to do is substitute x equals to 1 here to find the slope of the tangent line at this point. So I get 6 times 1 minus 4 times 1 divided by 3 times 1 minus 1 square. So that's 6 minus 4, that's 2. Divided by 3 minus 1, that's 2 squared, so that's 4. So 1 half. All right, so I have everything I need. I know the point of tangency, and I know the slope of my tangent line. So all I have to do, last step, is to use the point-slope formula to write down the equation of my tangent line. So I have y minus the point f of 1, which is just 1, over x minus the point x, which is 1, is equal to the slope, which is 1 half. So I could rearrange this equation so I can multiply by x minus 1 and get something like this. Then I'm bringing the minus 1 on the other side. And I finally can simplify a little more. 1 half of x minus 1 half plus 1, so that's plus 1 half. And that is my final answer for the equation of the tangent line at this point. All right, so that was good. So that's the kind of problem we studied already. So let me just summarize what you do whenever you're faced with a problem like that. So what uh, is the, the problem here? So you're given the function, so you know what the function is, and you also know what the point of tangency is. Well, you may only know the x-coordinate, but calculating the y-coordinate is pretty easy. What you don't know is the slope of the tangent line. So suppose you're given a point here, so you're given a point on the curve. You know this is the function I had before. What you want to calculate here, slope of the tangent line, so you want to calculate the slope here. So what you need to do is calculate the derivative f prime of x and then evaluate at the point to get the slope of the tangent line at this point. And once you have that, all you have to do is plug that in the point slope formula and rearrange to get the equation uh, y equals mx plus b for your the tangent line. 